When we ended part one of the video, we had reviewed step one and step two. So we see now to calculate a hypergeometric distribution. We first define the variables. Capital N is the population. Lowercase n are the trials. R, the number of elements within the population that are defined as successes. And lowercase x are the successes within our trials. I've added two variables here, failure population and failure sample, to simplify our later calculations. In step two, we actually calculate our combinations. There's one combination for success, one for failure, and one for the population. We now continue to step three. Once we've calculated the variables in the previous step, it becomes an easy matter to put them into our formula. Simple multiplication, then division. Let's do an example. <coughs> We're drawing cards. Suppose we randomly select five cards without replacement from an ordinary deck of playing cards. What is the probability of getting exactly two red cards. Now you may not be familiar with a deck of cards, so if not, we should know that there are 52 cards in a deck. There are four different suits or kinds of cards. There are 13 hearts, 13 diamonds, 13 clubs, and 13 spades. We want two of the red ones, which are hearts or diamonds, so 13 and 13. Now, we return to the steps of our formula and we apply those. First, we define all of our variables because this will simplify our calculation. Capital N is the population, lowercase n the trials, and I bring the rest of the variables up. Now, we said that there are 52 cards in a deck, so capital N equals 52. How many trials did we say that there were? Five. We would draw five cards. And I'm going to repeat the problem down below here because it becomes difficult to remember if it's not all on the same page. R confuses some students. R is the number of successes available to us that are within the population. Do you know the value of R? We want a red card, and there are 26 red cards in a deck. 13 diamonds, 13 hearts. X is the number of successes within the trials. We want to draw, do you remember, two red cards. Now, we go an extra step, and we calculate a failure population, which is the population minus its successes and a failure sample, which is the trial, minus the successes. Do you understand? I hope so. In step two, we're going to make our math in the last calculation much easier by breaking it down into steps A, B, and C. First, we calculate the success. Return to your listing of variables, which I've repeated on the right side, and perform just the success part of the calculation. Do the same thing for the failure combination. Remember, you just read your variables. And then for your population. Finally, step three is then easy. Simply put all this information together, multiply success combination by failure combination, Divide your answer by population combination. And now you have the resulting hypergeometric distribution. Congratulations, you can now do a hypergeometric distribution.